Hey sis, welcome to Broke But Bougie, your weekly thrift upcycle show where we serve rich auntie vibes on a broke bitch dime. This week we're going to be getting into how we upcycled this old mom jeans, took it from drab to fab. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is basically a sketch of what we're going to be trying to make come to life. Right now I'm just drawing the shape of the pants on a pattern paper. And I'm drawing it where the hip ends. I'm making it wider because I want the pants to be a wide leg pants and not as narrow as it is or was initially. So I'm just framing it to make sure that it's wider. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the legs, but I open them first just to get an accurate measurement of where I want, of how short I want it. And I basically cut it as short as the crotch would allow me to without like opening it up. We're not trying to make a skirt, we're just trying to get the shorts really short. So I cut them just like an inch or an inch and a half below the the crotch where the crotch meets and for some reason i left this part off i ended up getting rid of it later i thought it would like help to frame the pants no i'm just trying to get straight lines from the jeans so removing that slant edge you know going up to the thighs where the leg gets wider i'm just trying to make it straight here and then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric. Alright, so now that I have gotten rid of the excess, I'm going to go ahead and fold the fabric in half because I want all the squares that I'm going to be using to make this pants equal. So I'm folding it in half and I'll just repeat that process through out. So I'm just, you know, folding, cutting, trying to get some even squares. And now I'm fitting them in, trying to fit them into the pants. Make sure that the squares that I made can accomplish what I want. They can fit it perfectly. It doesn't get too big or too small. And there you go, I got three that fits perfectly. I ran to Hobby Lobby, got me some eyelets because that's what I'm going to be putting in the squares. Some eyelets, I got this eyelet what would i call it pliers or something and then i got some rings this is what each of the squares look like and i'm going to go ahead and show you how i achieved that so you're going to take your scissors and 
cut a small hole very small you don't want it too wide because the eyelets will fall through and then you go ahead and you squeeze an eyelet into that small hole you gotta really make sure that it comes through and then you use the clamp <laughs> and squeeze the eyelet close and that's how you achieve what I showed you earlier so now I'm just going ahead and piecing together all of those squares oh my god this took me a very long time but I'm using some pins before I go ahead and stitch just to make sure that it flows and now I'm just continuing So I made, I put the eyelets in all the cubes, in all the squares, cubes. I put the eyelets in all the squares and then now I'm using the rings to complete the legs. So I'm basically attaching everything. And there you have it guys, the finished product. Oh my God, I am so in love. So it wasn't hard, but to cut all these squares took such a long time that made it extremely tedious, but I love it. And of course I had to add another pair of jeans, but it was so good. Guys, if you love this, like I do go ahead and drop some comments let me know how you feel about it if you would rock it if you would rock it how would you rock it like, comment share and subscribe see you guys next week for another rich auntie thrift upcycle